Hey guys, welcome back to Model 3 UK again. Thank you once again for tuning in. Today I wanted to do a video based on something that's been bugging me for a little while, and that is relating to the uh, intrusion sensors on the Model 3. So I remember reading a comment or sorry um, a, a, a paragraph on Tesla's website a long time ago which I've now looked up for you and I'll read it to you in a second uh, under the intrusion sensors which basically says uh, all Tesla cars in Europe come equipped with an intrusion sensor as standard the sensors are inside the car near the rear view mirror and intermittently pulse ultrasonic waves throughout the cabin cabin the alarm will sound if the signal is disturbed by either intrusion or significant car movement and protects against certain break-in situations that might not otherwise be caught. So my understanding of this is the car has ultrasonic sensors, uh, which by the rear view mirror, which is uh, pretty standard for most cars I've, I've seen. Um, my Honda, for example, has very clear ultrasonic sensors uh, above the rear view mirror. You can see where they are, it's very clear, but in the Model 3, they're not. There are some little grills, and I'll show you them in a second, um, but they, they it's not very clear that they are the ultrasonic sensors or not. So I was kind of like, are they, do they really have sensors? I, I don't know, I'm just a bit dubious. So I wanted to test today, does the ultrasonic sensors in the Model 3 exist, and do they work effectively? So let's just have a quick look up here. So. This is the rear view mirror and as you can see here we've got uh, these little things here which I'm not entirely sure whether that's got the ultrasonic sensors in or whether these are like uh, your speaker or your microphone for your Bluetooth. Um, you've obviously got your reading lights here, SOS, uh, hazards and another obviously uh, reading light here. Here over here you've got your rear view camera and that is it. There are no other um, grills or anything that resembles an ultrasonic sensor and that's why I was kind of like does this really exist so that's what I want to put to the test today okay so just for clarification here I do have a uh, security alarm is active tilt stroke intrusion is also active and it's locked on I've got pin to drive as well and sentry mode as well also all switched on so yeah I just want to clarify with that before we begin the test Okay guys, so I am currently, let me straighten you up a little bit. <sighs> okay guys, so I'm currently sat in the back of the Model 3. Um, what I'm gonna do for the testing purposes is, let me get my key card out. I'm gonna get my key card out and ready just in case the alarm does actually go off. And what I'm gonna do, actually, oh, hello. There's little sockets, little holes up here that actually look like USB-C's, and I've always wondered what they are, but they actually have inside what could, which looks very similar to my uh, Honda Civic's ultrasonic sensors, and I think they're up in there. So let's, uh, let's give this a go. So what I'm gonna do, let me get my key card ready. So I'm going to lock the car via the app in a second, making sure my bum is off the seat, because I know the sensor's in the seat. Um, and what I'm going to do then is, oops, sorry, people walking by just staring at me randomly. Um, <laughs> I'm going to lock the car and then I'm going to stay still for about a minute because it takes about a minute I hear for the system to arm. So once that minute's up, I'm going to then wave my hands around and see if that triggers the alarm. Fingers crossed it will. Sentry mode is activated, so please, hopefully it won't deafen me. But yeah, let's see what happens. I'm probably going to be jumping forward to where you are in a second to try and deactivate this. In fact, I might move you a bit further back so I don't knock you over as I jump for it. Okay, I'm kind of a little bit nervous about this as well because I'm actually doing this on my driveway so the neighbours might be thinking, what's going on? What's going on here? So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to make sure my bum is off the seat somehow. Here we go, like this. This will do. Okay, and now I'm going to remotely lock the the car and let's see what happens waiting for my phone to connect here we go locking now okay the wing mirrors have just folded in okay i'm gonna wait 60 seconds let's see what happens i've got a phone i've got a uh, a gopro pointing at the screen so sentry mode activates um we we know uh, and I'm going to be deafened as well. And as soon as I see that screen go white, I'm going to be reaching for the key card. 
Uh, I need to now turn my phone to flight mode, don't I? So it knows I'm not in the car. So I've gone away. And I've got, it's getting hot in here, I'll tell you that. Let's put a timer on for 60 seconds. Don't know why I'm whispering. So my phone is now on flight mode. So the car should not be able to detect that I am here at all. My bum is off the seat. This is a good little workout here in the car for my, uh, for my leg muscles because I'm having to strain to keep my bum off the seat here so it doesn't know that I'm here. I'm hoping that's how it works anyway, but I don't believe there's anything in the back. Definitely straining my legs here. Fuck. <laughs> and if the alarm goes off, I'm going to quickly put the keycard on the uh, slot in front. <sighs> okay. Two seconds, one. Okay, so I'm gonna now wave my hands around. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Wow, that is freaking loud. That actually works, so it does work. Wow. <laughs> Man, man, oh man, that loud. And there you go then, so I think that's it. I think these are the ultrasonic sensors up here because looking inside of them, I will show you now. Oh, can you see uh, these little uh, USB sockets? You won't be able to see inside of these, I don't think. But up there is like a kind of a, a grill-like thing. Oh, I'm hot in here. There's a little grill thing up in there which looks just like my ones on my Honda. Uh, so I'm guessing those are the ultrasonic sensors. So, well, I am so glad that that worked because that was something that was bothering me for a while because I was like, I don't see any up the front, but now I know where they are. And uh, yeah, I know that they work as well. So yeah, thanks once again, guys, for tuning in to another video today. That's the first time I've ever set my sentry mode off. And uh, yeah, I also saw the new symbol there which replaced the old one. Um, it uh, resembles apparently the turret from Portal, so hopefully they won't have any problems with copyright issues or anything from that because apparently that's why they got rid of the old HAL 2000 one because uh, it was a copyright issue. Um, so yeah, that was great. Thanks once again guys, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, drop a comment down below if you've got any future questions or anything you want me to try and do. Um, that was amazing, I am properly sweating in this car now because it is so warm in here and I had the aircon off so you guys could hear me. And obviously when I lock it, it also turned off as well. If you uh, are looking to buy a Tesla, a new Tesla in the near future, uh, please use a referral code, you get 1,000 free supercharger miles on your account. If you haven't got a friend who's got a referral code, mine will be down below. Feel free to use it. You guys have been awesome. Thanks once again for tuning in. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.